YouTube, what is good? So inside this bag, I have a camera that I've wanted to use for so long from a camera brand I've never used before. I am so excited to show you all what this is. I'll show it to you once we get out in the field. One other thing I'm excited about, the new merch is now available on edmundramp.com. We get the summer hoodies right here with the forever logo on the front, the photography lives forever alternate logo on the back. I don't know about y'all, but I love a nostalgic summer hoodie. You know that hoodie you bring to the pool with you at night, that hoodie you just get cozy in around the house because the AC is going too hard, that hoodie you bring to the movie theater with you because you know it's going to be freezing. The one you bring on camping trips, I love a summer hoodie and that is why I made this so it could be my go-to hoodie. You have from now the time this video is live until Sunday at 9. This hoodie is an unlimited release but it's only for a limited time. So get your order in. On Monday I'm going to take that order, send it to the manufacturer. They're going to create the hoodie, send them to me. I will send them to you. So please allow two weeks for delivery on these hoodies. One note though, if you get your order in quick, the first handful of people will get their hoodie much faster because I have a small stock on hand. Those will probably be sent out either tomorrow or Monday. Pause the video, head to evanranf.com, go grab yourself one. Good news for anyone in Canada, shipping is available to Canada. Do not get mad at me or blame me, blame the post office. The shipping is astronomically expensive on these hoodies because it's a heavier item and I have to put it in a flat rate box. But the good news and the silver lining in that, if you wanna wait for stickers or t-shirt releases in the future, shipping will be much less. I think it's gonna be $10.99 for Canada. Unfortunately, the hoodies I couldn't get the price down on, but good news for everyone in Canada, you will finally be able to purchase stuff from the store. So yeah, I appreciate all the support in advance. EvanRamp.com from now until Sunday at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Now, let's go shoot. Check it out. My man. Man, photography lives forever. All right, we made it out here. We are in downtown Atlanta. We are gonna shoot for a minute. Chris House is with me. Chris just put out a short film that he made in San Diego. It was a trip I was supposed to go on, but couldn't because I had to go to Tennessee. But yeah, go over to there. What's your channel, Chris House? Chris House. Go to his channel, so youtube.com slash Chris House. Should be, yeah. All right, it is the moment of truth. Finally, let me show you what is inside this bag. Drum roll, please. It is the Leica Q. Now, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you followed me on Twitter, you know me and the Leica Q, we've talked uh, quite a bit. I tweeted like a year ago, half serious, about how I was gonna sell everything and I was gonna get a Leica Q. Well, I'm one step closer to doing that. I'm not gonna sell everything, but I could potentially get this Leica Q. Think of this as a trial run, it's not mine yet but I have a feeling it could be, especially with the price of these going down so low with the announcement of the Leica Q2. So we're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna shoot Chris in the new hoodie. I'll tell you how I feel about it, what I think at the end of the video. So a few thoughts after using this thing for about an hour so far. Everything looking in the back of the camera looks fantastic. It looks great. The depth, the color. Whew. I'm seeing what some of the Leica hype is about. But one other thing worth noting with this camera. Yo, the finish on the QP, it's like they took a stick of butter, filled it with some volcanic ash from a desolate island in Hawaii, and then mixed it all together and covered a camera in it. It is beautiful to say the least. I love the fact that there's no red dot on here. It's very discreet for street photography, which is one issue that I have had in the past using my Nikon as a street photo camera. This is nice, but it is getting kind of hot. You know, it's a pretty hot day out here and this is definitely not, not attracting heat. But uh, really liking it so far. Extra quick voiceover. So this guy came up to us, asked Chris if he had a card. He said I could get a photo of him. Love that black and white right there. Then we moved down the street. We had another person ask us for a photo. Broad Street is popping right now. Try a few things. Notice this person in the window. Bang, black and white looking crazy. Moving right here. I wish I had my camera set to a lower aperture. It would have been crazy with that person crossing the street. Right here, notice these beautiful colors. The colors out today looked great and they looked great on the Leica as well.
So this is our last location of the day. We ended with this awesome light coming through. It's super dynamic, shadow, shadow, and then bang, yellow stair set, yellow highlight. It's, this is sick. Really like the way the shot came out of Chris. All the way, all the way, let's go. Oh. So I'm now back home. That is my kind of day right there. I got everything I needed to do done off camera, but I also got out to shoot for about two hours. Saw my friend stop by Epitome. Saw my friend Talia before she leaves for New York. I made this photo of her right here real quick. Really like how it came out, kind of a minimal vibe. She's got the Supreme jersey on, it looks fire. Let's wrap this thing up. I got some thoughts about the Leica QP or just the Leica Q in general. So this thing photographed essentially like my DSLR would. I use a full frame DSLR and this wasn't very far off when I look at the photos. It, it was solid, it looked great. The thing that the Q has going for it, one is just the beautiful design. I mean, if you like design work, I mean, come on now, you can't beat this. The industrial, just minimal feel, I, I you can't beat it. I mean, this thing is phenomenal looking. Look at the back, look how simple that is. And I mean, the lens looks simple, everything is just, done right on this design wise and I really appreciate it and I really like it. Now usability is another key thing with the Leica Q. The way it's designed, the menu system, everything is well thought out and I really appreciate that. Menu design and user interface is definitely like the last thing on my list but when you use it on a camera and it's good, you really appreciate it because when it's bad, it's it's not fun at all. Today I kept this camera in something called point and shoot mode, which I really liked. Basically you're just using exposure compensation. You can set the ISO to auto. I just set it myself and then left it. And the exposure compensation dial and the display is really nice like that as well. One other cool thing, the manual focus on this, I am not a manual focus person, y'all know this. Some of you have told me in the comments that I need to become one. Well, with a camera like this, manual focus is very easy. The focus peaking is awesome. You can just switch from autofocus to manual focus by holding down this button and sliding this. And coming from Fujifilm cameras, I was used to sliding this dial right here. So what is my final verdict on the Q? The photos? Looks great, I expected that. You know, it's a full frame Leica camera with Leica glass. The thing that really stood out to me, which makes me consider a camera like this, is one, the fact that they are going on sale. There are some crazy deals out there on these Leica Qs. You can find them used. You can even find them new for relatively low prices. So that is intriguing. The other thing that is so intriguing about this camera is just the general size to image quality ratio. You get phenomenal images in a very small package. When we were out shooting, I had multiple people today approach me for their photo, which does not happen very often, but also I rarely keep my DSLR out of my bag because it looks like an expensive camera, where this, unless someone really, really knows what they're looking at, this just looks like a toy for the most part. And I think today when I made that street portrait, I think the subject, he was very unintimidated by the fact that I had this camera. It just seems like a casual thing. He wanted his photo. Chris got his number. I said I'd email him the photo and that was that. So that's the main thing with the Q for me. It fits a very specific person and I feel like I could be that specific person, someone who does a lot of street photography. So I don't know. One thing I wanna try out is I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Q and the X100F because all the time I've been researching this camera, I've been looking for a comparison to this and I haven't found a video that was very good. So I'm going to make the perfect comparison video between these two cameras so people can get an idea of what to expect. I love the X100F. I made some photos last night of Dax using this camera and they look phenomenal. You almost might mistake them for photos made with this camera. So at the end of the day, it's all about your skills as a photographer and using the camera the right way to get the best photo. Uh, but the Leica Q, I'm loving it. If you enjoyed the video, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments, do you wanna see that comparison between the Q and the X100F? Also, make sure you follow Talia, make sure you follow Chris. Shout out to both of them for being in today's video. And if you wanna grab a hoodie, remember evanramp.com from now until Sunday at 9 p.m. Thank you guys for watching, y'all are the truth. I appreciate it, I loved the photos I made today. It was a lot of fun. And these are the type of days that I hope to have anytime I go out to shoot. It was a very, very good day. And so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. Thank you.